planet and should be protected at all costs, especially in light of climate change, which is real and here with us. And it is against this background that the Water Service Providers Association in Kenya is organizing an international water conference and expo to address the underlying issues that are grappling the sector. In studio with us for this conversation is the chairman of the Water Services Providers Association, WASPA, engineer Daniel Nganga. Good morning and thank you for making time for us on News Centre. Uh, now, like I mentioned, uh, WASPA is the umbrella body of water service providers in yes. the country. Yes. As the chairman, how would you describe the status of water service provision in Kenya? Thank you very much, Michelle. I must take, I must take this chance uh, to thank you for allowing us to come and explain to Kenyans who the WSP are and what we are doing for this country. Mm -hmm. uh, my name is Eugenia Ngang, as you stated, MD of Moranga Water and chairman of Water Service Providers Association of Kenya WASPA. Right. WASPA is an, is an umbrella body of four water service providers. It's about 77 out of uh, the regulated 80, 80, 81. Mm -hmm. Our role is to advocate for good corporate governance, share experiences, be, best, best practices, and also ensure that we fast track in incre increasing connectivity mm -hmm. of water service providers in this country. Right. WASPA was started in 2002 after enactment of the new water reforms because I can say that uh, water services were devolved in 2002. Mm -hmm. uh, it was started by three pioneer companies, Nyeri Water, Kiricho and Eldoret, as right. an, an umbrella association looking at issues of water service provision in this country. Uh, we are currently organizing an international conference uh, with the theme Unlocking Potential for Water Secure World, right. which will be held between tomorrow, the 8th of May, and uh, Friday. Uh, and uh, it has uh, attracted uh, participants from all over the world. Mm -hmm. Key participants include uh, uh, practitioners from our key five continents right. of the world. Mm -hmm. We expect uh, that uh, we will bring the minds roaring, we bring all the stakeholders together, and I'll take this chance as the chairman to invite all the water customers, all the stakeholders, so that we can address the crisis. Right. So let's talk about the crisis that is there before we get to what will be discussed at this conference because as it is, mega cities in Africa and Asia continue to experience water shortages despite various efforts being put in place uh, to access clean water resources. Kenya has not been left behind. So again, in Kenya, how would you describe the status of service provision? Are we close to achieving SDG goal number six, ensuring clean water and sanitation for all? Basically, what I would say is uh, we are in the right track, in the right track, but we bring to, we need to refocus our energies and bring all stakeholders on board for the purposes of ensuring that we we achieve universal access to supply of water on or before 2030. We know our country Kenya has committed to its blueprint, uh, Vision 2030, mm -hmm. to ensure that uh, every person has access to clean water right. and reasonable sanitation standards. We also know in our, new, in our, in our constitution 2010, uh, every person uh, in Kenya mm -hmm. has a right to safe water and reasonable uh, sanitation standards. Right. Uh, uh -huh. Where we are now as water service providers, uh, currently we are serving uh, uh, more than 200 urban centers a population of uh, close to 25 million shillings, mm -hmm. million people, have uh, access to clean and safe water. Mm -hmm. And uh, basically, our role is, is to ensure that uh, we strengthen connectivity, work closer with uh, the governments, both national and the county government, mm -hmm. f so that we can, the Kenya can achieve her agenda. All right. Uh, let's take a look at research here that shows that the country's per capita water availability is 643 cubic meters, uh, which is less than the global benchmark of 1,000 uh, cubic meters. Many rural populations also depend on unimproved water resources. We've seen the situation in Turkana, the kind of water that's being drunk there, and there have been calls to move towards technology and innovation to improve access to clean water and sanitation. What kind of technology, though, are we speaking about, for example? 
Our focus is to bring technologies that can conserve water. Mm -hmm. We use smart technology that will conserve the available water for the purposes of ensuring that we, 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 we are able to reach the set benchmark by the world. Right. I must say that as water service providers, we are working closely with uh, other agencies of government and partners, including the private sector, to ensure that uh, we increase coverage of forests mm -hmm. for the purposes of ensuring that uh, we store more water in our times in its natural state when we plant trees because we know in our times later in our times and the generations that will come they will require more water and it's our responsibility now to ensure that we store more water in its natural state for mm -hmm. its availability in the future right i must also say i must also thank the the, 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 the government from uh, through the Minister of Water and, 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 and Sanitation mm -hmm. and the COG for the support that they have given the water service providers uh, through their, 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 their chairman, the governor of uh, uh, Kakamega, Ukrifo for Palanya. Because uh, when you look at the constitution, water services is a devout function. It's right. a business of the country, the right. government. However, the water service provider is regulated nationally. Mm -hmm. So it, it, it is important for the stakeholders to work together so that we can get good modernity. Let's discuss that in a bit more detail and, and how then uh, water service provision was uh, affected after uh, you know devolution because you say water began you know the, the function of water began being devolved in 2002 explain that to us and how has devolution impacted service provision? Uh, I, I think uh, I said I started by saying that water was uh, devolved earlier than, mm -hmm. than, than the government, the county governments themselves. Right. Uh, because, and, and the aim of uh, uh, devolving the water, the, the water provision is to ensure that uh, local people, more local people, are able to contribute in the development of, 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 of their water company. Mm -hmm. Initially, before, devolu before, before the, the Act of 202, uh, water was run by the de facto councils mm -hmm. and in other areas the national water the pipeline corporation the minister of water directly but there were challenges there the, this act which is which is 202 which is now repealed 2016 its role was to ring fence and make water service providers autonomous for the purposes of ensuring that uh, all the incomes all the monies that are gotten from the water service provision mm -hmm. are only used to accelerate to accelerate connectivity. We have gotten uh, uh, accelerated uh, service delivery as water service providers after devolution of of, 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 of the county governments mm -hmm. because there are budgets that are set directly for the water, and we can see mm, county governments are supporting the the the, the, the water their water companies. Mm -hmm to realize their, uh, their objective. And we are advocating, as the chair of, 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 of the association, that uh, all the county governments should uh, support their utilities for the purposes of ensuring that it becomes the think tank okay. All for, right. for the county. A, a lot of questions coming on Twitter on, you know, uh, what is the safety standard of the water um, being provided across the country. But before that, I wanted to, dis to discuss Cape Town's uh, day zero uh, water crisis. And for those who do not know, in January 2018, officials in Cape Town announced that the city of 4 million people was three months away of running out of municipal water. Now, the world then was stunned. The countdown to day zero was 90 days. 90 days to reverse an entire water crisis that uh, would have affected 4 million people. But what did Cape Town do to beat this crisis? And how can Kenya learn from what Cape Town did? Talk to us a bit about that. Thank you very much. And I think we all realized the day zero of Cape Town. Mm -hmm. And it was a wake-up call for, for water professionals. The, the Cape Town issue started by... The, when, during the, the, the politics, the politicians or, uh, had promised the electors that they would provide water free of charge. Mm -hmm. So when uh, uh, that realization cannot be, be realized, then uh, they were not able to supply water because basically water has a cost and it's a learning experience for our water sector in this country. Uh, it's important for our stakeholders to know that uh, for us to have efficient water service providers, the water service provider must be, make a business sense. You must provide water in a cost recovery manner. Right. Because uh, the, uh, when you look at all the companies in this country, 
um, the lowest block, anybody who has, who has a water connection is paying between one shilling and three shillings per 20 liter jar can if that, when that water is treated of right quality and is pumped into a house. Right. So it's important uh, because you know water is very emotional and uh, people would, would think that uh, water should be availed, is, an, is natural to be availed at no cost. Water has a cost and it is to be provided efficiently but affordable. Mm -hmm. Now, what are the key issues then that will be discussed at this international water conference? Because there have been, uh, you know, questions perhaps of overlapping roles of players within the Water Act itself. Yes, uh, I must say that uh, there the, the are issues that the conflicting legislation, this is key mm -hmm. for this country. It's important for, for, for all stakeholders and policymakers to look at this conflicting legal, uh, legislations for the purposes of ensuring that we first track the agenda mm -hmm. to water. Mm -hmm. Currently, I must say that uh, uh, water service provision sector is among the, 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 the sector that has a lot of taxation right. and you find that perhaps water may not be affordable in the future if mm -hmm. this not, uh, is, uh, is not looked at. Mm -hmm. we, we, as water service providers, we pay for abstraction fees. On the other hand, we pay for, when we pay for power, you also pay for, 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 for the same thing in the Kenya Power Bill. Mm -hmm. That amounts to double taxation. Currently, water is exempt. We have been advocating from, from July 2018 is exempt. That means the water service providers cannot claim input VAT. Mm -hmm. uh, we, 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 we are advocating with uh, policymakers and government to ensure that water is rated so that companies are able to have more resources and are able to accelerate connectivity. Right. Now, let's awareness. speak about specific situations like Nairobi City, for example. As it is, um, water service provision is not uh, equal for all. There are those who still struggle uh, to access water. There are those who, die, who buy water on a daily basis. What there is the breakdown and how can that be remedied? I, I, I think in this city currently, the, the, the Nairobi has a capacity of production of uh, 570 cubic meters mm -hmm. of water per day. Currently, they are producing about five, 520, 520 cubic meters a day. The demand is uh, 870 cubic meters a day. That shows that there is a deficit of, deficit of close to 200 cubic meters. But government has put uh, measures to ensure that this 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 issue is corrected the mm -hmm. famous northern northern collector tunnel i think uh, the project will be completed in mm -hmm. due course mm -hmm. so it is bringing about 140 cubic meters of water into the city mm -hmm. and the problem of scarcity i'm sure it will be eradicated but, As but, water service but, but if you mention you know 500 and something cubic meters the demand is 800 and something cubic meters then that 140 will not fill the deficit those are not the only plans that the government is doing there are mm -hmm. the plans to, mm -hmm. to to ensure that what like uh, argumentation of rural dam and uh, 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 and other dams that are being done that right. will bring water into this city mm -hmm. what the wsp is doing and what we are doing as water service providers and what we are advocating for is reduction of what we call non revenue water because apart from bringing the water that for example nobody is able to to produce how much is it losing mm -hmm. how much is it not getting to, to uh, how much is not getting to the customer right. what we call non revenue water is water which is produced but it is it does not get to the customers it's either stolen or uh, it's lost through leaks. What we are doing, we are uh, focusing on uh, investment of renewal of, 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 of our reticulation systems because of most of them were done before independence mm -hmm. for the purpose of ensuring that we move on leaks and smart options, smart billing and metering options mm -hmm. for the purpose of, of ensuring that we minimize loss commercial losses. All right. Uh, in, in, in the case of Cape Town, for example, some of the efforts that were put in place were quite remarkable. Um, we talk of uh, enforced prohibitions on heavy users, prohibiting use of municip municipal water for things like swimming pools, for example, lawns or similar uh, users that would be deemed as non-essential. In the wake of climate change, are those strict moves that Kenya perhaps would be looking to implement? Those are the one of the, some of the best options that this country and uh, Kenya will be looking at to implement. Mm -hmm. Like when you look at our tariff structure, how we do our billing for our customers, the more you pay, the more you use, the more you pay. So 
uh, you, dis you, you discourage uh, misuse of water and uh, we are telling Kenyans it's important we know uh, climate change is with us we are encouraging Kenyans to use water that is available sparingly for the purposes of ensuring that more is available for more residents all right and finally what do Kenyans expect from this international water conference and expo from tomorrow Kenyans expect to get uh, best uh, best models of water service provision of the world because they, they are, like i said there is representation of of uh, oh, there is representation of all the continents it's important that uh, the private sector is also uh, very much participating in that conference because we know they are the custodians of uh, of, of of the latest technology mm -hmm. and we would expect that uh, uh, everybody learns from what the private sector is doing uh, the, what the private sector has we combine it to the public sector so that we can, uh, we can accelerate the agenda of supplying water to Kenyans. Right. I, must, I must also say that this conference mm -hmm. is, bring, is, is trying to bring the heads to, to, together, especially during the time of this prolonged uh, 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 drought mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. for the purposes of ensuring that uh, we are able to advocate for, for, for removal of eucalyptus trees within our riverbeds plant more trees like uh, as like, like water service providers we are doing uh, we are planting 3000 trees every month in our rotational uh, 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 every two months in our rotational meetings that we we attend mm -hmm. all over the country all right for the purpose of ensuring that we we improve on uh, on, on storage we store more water and therefore our 